futuristic in his thinking and that was a big help for Michael because the sports pa pages became something very lively and something to look forward to and, and I know from my own point and he, he's the same you simply waited on a Friday you waited on a Friday to get a phone call from this fella here to find out where you were going <laughs> <laughs> and then you plan your attack and thought I'll, I'll land something nicely there and you had something in mind before you went down the line and you did it and that's what you do still there's a few people here tonight that it would be remiss of me not to mention. One of them is our good friend, the late John McAvaney from Monaghan. John was an exceptionally good photographer with a colossal interest in the GAA. We used to meet him in Donuts week in, week out when the thing was going good. And between that and the US Open and the Masters, the guy, a big golf man as well, that went on there. And every new bit of camera gear that you would talk about, John would have had it the next week. He was just sensational about that whole thing and a really, really big help. Uh, the other person was <coughs> local photographer here, Dennis Tynan. We used to take Dennis away on meet trips with us to Dublin and all. I'll never forget one day, the first day I went with Dennis in the car and Michael. Dennis sitting in the front, you know, and he'd keep referring to Michael as, God, Caddy, we're doing this, we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're heading out to Rath Mines, out to, out to the Kodak fellas, you know, and Dennis says, Caddy, I was out there before, we'd use a head, use, well, use a young fellas, usually get a good look around. And he left him off at this pub called the Napper Tandy. <laughs> Jeez, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have left you wouldn't have left your Alsatian dog. I'm gonna go back at about ten or six that evening. Not knowing what to expect. Ah, not a bother, open the door and there was Dennis sitting in right. <laughs> back coming back to the hotel and got a bite to eat the way home. That's right, Kelly. That's sorry. <laughs> but again, he was, he was magical, magical with his negatives. He, he, was, he was an old, a two and a part, uh, you know, one of these looked down into cameras, two and a part, the square cameras, lovely quality. Dennis was one of these fellas, fortunes and negatives. He paid him the ultimate compliment some years ago. He gave Michael the negatives from Jack and Nora's wedding. Wow. 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 That's quality. And I remember he came over to me to show them, and he just put them up to the light box. Well, do you know this? It was like a symphony. To a magician, it was just, you know, to a musician, it was like a symphony because it just meant it, they really were so clear. Hardly one out of focus, hardly any camera shake, everything perfectly exposed. That was Dennis Tynan. It was incredible. And again, that's what we just want to remember. Dennis. Connor Sinclair, of course, who was a regular visitor to, to the Focus, to the Focus exhibition in Birmingham, uh, with us for the last four or five years, passed away there recently as well. You know? And finally, and finally, the late Jack O'Donnell, Michael's father. The great marketer and businessman that I was. Jeez, there was days he used to say to me, 20 years and more, he used to say to me, Grace Starbucks, she'd put a lot of photographs on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he 
Nej, så säger det väl. Han är nog här. Ja, kyr då! Nej, kyr då! 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 The one thing that separates somebody who takes a picture from a photographer, I think, is passion. And I explained this story to Patrick McGuigan and... Tony Gilday. Tony Gilday. I kind of knew Patrick. I didn't know Tony. I just met them at the bar. And it's an old story. And for me, it sums Michael up. And I joked with Brendan about it. Some of you know it. <coughs> In 1992, uh, with so many minutes to go, some of you may remember Declan Boner caught the ball down near the Hogan stand in and swung it over the bar majestically. But there was a message in the score, it was outrageously flamboyant. But he turned to the stand and, and he did that. And what he was saying to people was, we're there, we have it. And every Dublin player knew, remember there was only four points yeah, in it at the yeah, end, yeah, yeah. they knew it's done, it's mm -hmm. over. Where's the picture of Boner with the fist in the air? So I never got an answer because we were busy and whatever. So about 10 years later, one night, uh, Keaton <laughs> Cotton was on. <laughs> you remember the story now? Because I wrote about it one night. Uh, I was late at night and uh, Nick or Gale or whatever come on. And I'm there and I said, oh great, I poured myself a glass of wine. Now watch the match. And as Boner kicks the ball over the bar, and the point I'm making here is about passion, you can see at the left hand post beside the ESO sign, Michael Jack going up like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, that's my story that sums up the passion of Michael O'Donnell. You could say to yourself, well, Jesus, you know, they knocked down the Berlin Wall and he missed the picture. This was different. <laughs> 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 and, and I have no right to be speaking here, but I'm very glad that I had the opportunity to say thank you on behalf of all the people that over the last 26 years, in my time, the people for it, who went out and paid their pound and bought the Donegal Democrat and kept us going and kept us in the living and enjoyed the pictures that people like Paddy and yourself contributed to us. And it doesn't matter to me whether your pictures appear in the Donegal Post or the Denver Post, we'll be friends forever. <laughs> I'd just like to thank Paddy for the, the kind words there and uh, all the men that he mentioned for everything he said about them was just 100%, you know. I must thank uh, Michael for coming down here and for the wee piece in the demo got today. Many of the time my father tried to get me to do this job here 20 years ago and of course there was no talking to me that time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, some would say there's still no talking to me. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, he would have been so proud this evening to see this up on the wall. Yeah, yeah better set me right. Yeah. <laughs> see y'all, Jenny Bowen, all that down there. And thanks everybody for coming, and I hope you've enjoyed this stuff. <laughs>